Hi there. Uh, you're looking at my remote control for my Panasonic TV that has stopped working. And today I'm going to show you a simple way to fix it with an everyday household item. And if I get the uh, that remote control now, and I'll press uh, my finger on the red on button and point it towards the TV, it, uh, the TV doesn't come on. You can see, see the little red light under the TV stays red and the TV doesn't come on. So there's the, uh, the remote control and what I'm going to do first of all is spin it over and take off the battery cover. Yep, like that and remove the, uh, the two batteries, positive ends first and show you what the problem is. And so if we look at the uh, in the battery container there, um, you can see there that the top one on the left hand side is nice and uh, silver and shiny, but the one here on the right hand side is sort of dull and it's actually covered in rust. And that's a problem, because all that rust is stopping the batteries from getting a good connection and passing the current through. So there we go, nice and shiny, and there's the rusty um, right hand terminal. So a common way that you can fix the uh, rusty terminals is that you get a bit of sandpaper and you uh, you know you rub it backwards and forwards on the terminal with a bit of sandpaper or you can get a, um, a file, a metal working file like this one and use that file to run rub backwards and forwards over that rusty terminal in your battery section to fix it but but what if you don't have sandpaper or you don't have a metal working file then if you don't have either of those items then you could use something that nearly every household has which is a which is a nail file yep just a little nail file like that I'll pull it out of this uh, set um, and obviously it's used to uh, file back your nails and it's got a sort of a, a, a rough surface which is great for um, shining up the terminals and cleaning off the rust. Um, just the same way as you'd use sandpaper or a metalworking file, you can use that nail file to um, back, run backwards and forwards across that rusty terminal um, to remove the rust and get a bit of a shine happening at the end of that terminal and, and once you do that, then you know your battery will work. So it's probably going to take um, a couple of minutes, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've been shining that terminal for a number of minutes now, probably three, two, three minutes, just to make sure I get a nice, uh, a nice shiny terminal. Okay, so I think that's um, that's pretty well done now. So I'll pop the batteries in and put the cover back on and we'll take that um, and test it at, with the uh, with the TV. Okay so there we go with the, the we're going to test the remote control now to see if it works. Press the red button, point at the TV and there we go the green lights coming out of the bottom of the TV and the TV is slowly coming on and we've got a show there called Call the Midwife is playing. We'll try AV. AV works. It's taking me to the HDMI one channel, and then back to TV for the midwife. And there we go. Turn it off. Okay. So there we go. There we go. That's a simple way to fix a remote control that's got a, uh, a rusty battery terminal using an everyday household item, which is the nail file. Okay. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and. Goodbye for now.